we've come to this place in the service today. And we all knew it was coming. Praise God. We even have some of our, our children that are joining us right now, and this is great. But um, we are going to ordain Colin Nanton here today. And there's a few things that I have prepared and then I, I want to get right. And uh, so I'm going to read some things to you here, and then I want to I want to say some things. They're no less from my heart just because they're on paper here. But I want you to understand some things today about ordination and understand what we're doing specifically as it relates to Colin. But Colin, I want to say to you in the presence of, you know, your family and your friends and your colleagues and your church family here today that we rejoice with you and we rejoice with you in the fact that we recognize that there is a call to this ministry, specifically this ministry of a chaplain. And for those of you that do know Colin in maybe a little bit more intimate way, if he's ever shared his life testimony and you understand how God put him in specific arenas and areas of life and how he, uh, working in his vocation, even as a policeman in those years, and the different areas of ministry that he served in and the churches that he was connected with and the men of God and the women of God who've spoken into his life. It's all culminated. It's all culminated for something much bigger and much greater. And today, Colin, is your day for unprecedented promotion. Unprecedented promotion. Now, listen to me, church. It's very important you understand this. I, nor any of the leaders in the church, Specifically, if I was, you know, pointing this direction, you know, I'm look, looking at Mr. Tucker. But the leadership, our board, anyone who's a department head in the church, I'm talking about church leadership. We cannot call anybody into the ministry. It's not scriptural. So I'm not calling Colin into the ministry today. What we're doing through this formal public expression of ordination today is we're just simply saying that we recognize the fruits. We recognize the fruits in Colin's life. And we recognize that there is a call in his life. And all of these life experiences have culminated and come to an apex, at least in this point of your life. You're not an old guy. you got a lot more hair than I do, brother. Thank God for it. Keep it. <laughs> But it culminates at this point in your life for a specific purpose and reason because now he's opening up another door. He's opening up another um, chapter in your life where not only are you going to be able to draw from all of those experiences and draw from those anointings and those impartations that you've received and the training that you've received He's giving this to you. He's giving this to you because he found you to be one who is faithful, one who is humble, one who, if I put it real clear to you, is available. Because a lot of people talk the talk, but their walk and their talk don't line up. And that's why we don't see the fruit. But I can stand here before this congregation, I can stand here before your friends and your colleagues and I can say as your pastor, I recognize that call on your life specifically in ministry for this, and I recognize the fruits in your life as well. And I believe anybody that knows him can say amen to that. Amen. So although the local church nor the leaders are going to ordain anybody or call anybody that way into the ministry, I believe that we recognize the call and in granting ordination to the Christian ministry, the pastor and the leadership publicly commend the ordained person to the church family at large, and so that's what we're doing here today. And ordination isn't something that we just take lightly. It's, it's, it's not just a piece of paper that means I can marry and bury, you know, as the world has it. it it's, it's not to be taken lightly. Colin, you've declared, you've declared your desire to give your life and your time and your talents in service to Jesus Christ. And as I've already said, today is the beginning of a whole new chapter in your life. 
Amen? And in your ministry. So, Colin, I'm going to ask you at this time to come forward so that we can formally lay our hands on you and set you apart for this specific calling. And we're going to speak and declare the blessings of God over your life and over your ministry. Amen? So, congregation, I'm going to ask you to stand. Those that are here, family and friends, I'm going to ask you to stand. And I'm going to ask you, maybe you don't do this in your church. If you don't feel comfortable doing it, you don't have to. But I'm going to ask you to stretch your hands. doesn't matter, left hand or right hand. You can stretch both of them if you want. As a point of contact and as a declaration of your agreement for the things that we are about to impart, I believe there'll be impartations when I lay hands. It's not me, but it's the Spirit of God. And as we set Colin apart for this specific ministry, of the chaplaincy here serve our men and our women who, who serve us in the police services. I believe today that supernatural impartation is going to take place. Amen. And God is going to bring about a new anointing on Colin's life that's going to enable him to effectively minister the gospel of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So I'm going to actually ask the Tuckers to come over. I'm going to ask my wife and we're going to lay hands on Colin. And church, I just want you to agree. If you know how to pray, you pray. You pray in English. If you're filled with the Spirit and you know how to pray in tongues, you pray in other tongues. Go ahead, church. Begin to pray. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, we lay hands on Colin Nanton. We lay hands on him in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the head of the church. Yes. And Father God, we ordain him and set him apart to the call of ministry, Lord God, to the chaplaincy. Father God, those things that you've desired, those things, Father, that you've brought to bear in his life in these past decades are coming to bear in this new chapter of his life. Father, I declare in Jesus' name. Father God, that there's an anointing that comes upon his life to minister, Father God, to the, to the men and women on our police services, Lord God, in a supernatural way. Give him, Father God, everything that he doesn't have right now. Anoint him supernaturally by the Spirit of God. Impart, impart into Colin's life, Lord God, whatever it is that he doesn't have now that will enable him to be a success, Lord God, a success in ministry, to be able to effectively share the love of Jesus Christ. Lord, the issues that he's going to come up against, Lord God, are varied. Lord God, they are difficult at times. When tragedy strikes, Lord God, I declare that Colin will have the word of the Lord. He will be able to speak life into those situations in the name of Jesus. And those police officers, Lord God, will, will learn and will come to understand that the love of God that's coming through Colin, hallelujah, is to bring them to a new place. It's to bring them into an open place. Father, we declare, Lord God, that his mouth will be filled yes. with the glory and goodness yes. of God. Yes. Father, that you will use every message that he speaks, every word that he declares to be truth, to be life, Lord God, to the people who hear them. Yes. Father, his feet will be quick and swift yes. to run this race in the name yes. of Jesus. Yes. His hands, Father God, will be open yes. as well as his heart. Yes. His hands and heart will be open with the love of God to tangibly meet the needs, Father God, of the people that he's going to minister to, Lord yes. God. Set him on fire, Lord yes. God. Yes. Set his heart on fire, yes. Lord God. Yes. We ordain him. We set him apart this yes. day, yes. declaring, Lord God, that you will have your will and yes. your way in his life. Use him as salt. Use him as light. Yes. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Yes. Everybody that agrees with that says, yes. amen. Glory to God. Love you, Colin. Oh, hallelujah. Yes, you can give him a hand. You're going to clap, clap good. Amen. Love you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Colin, come on up. I'll let you come up on a platform. We've got something we want to present to you. And this makes it official in the legal eyes of the land. Amen. But this is a certificate of ordination, and I'll read this to you. It says, this is to certify that Colin Natton, according to the will of God, 
as indicated by the Holy Spirit and in accordance with the scriptures, was ordained as a minister of the gospel on March 27, 2011 at Life Church International in Woodstock, Ontario, Canada. This ordination is an acknowledgement of the gifts and calling of God on his life, his role as a servant of Christ, and a steward of the mysteries of God, according to 1 Corinthians 4.1. Therefore, he has been found to be faithful and trusted, continually striving to make full proof of his ministry, 2 Corinthians 4.5. So present this to you. Amen. Love you. Anything you want to say? No. Okay. <laughs> All right. Hallelujah. Glory. Woohoo. Amen. Amen.